Hello, in this episode of Megabugs Mondays, I'm going to have a look at Phonix Nylon Blue from Breathe 3D. I'm hoping I'm saying this correct. <laughs> Phonix Nylon Blue 3D, but let's have a look after the intro. So this filament is a very nice blue colored nylon, but let's have a look at the label and see what it says. It says it's from Breathe 3D and Phonex, Phonix, I'm not sure how to say it, <laughs> nylon blue. Uh, here they say print temperature should be 240 to 260 and I was printing at 250. Uh, the nylon profile at that time got good results. Bed temperature should be 70C, speed 30 to 150, so it's quite a range of speeds, and cooling fans should be on. And here they say use glue stick on bed for adhesion or use a Gekotec Easy Stick hot sheet, and I was using my Gekotec sheet that I have on my build plate for the Prusa printer. And here they say nylon available in range of colors, tough with reduced warpits for easier printing, and more information on breathe does 3d.com slash nylon so you can have a look at their website to see a little bit more but let's have a look at the print I first did some brake tests and um, just to see if it would break easily <laughs> uh, it takes quite an effort to to break um, and it's quite tough it's it's not as flexible as some nylons I've tried um, it's more brittle than nylon I've tried before as well, but it's pretty tough nevertheless. Um, I did my maker coin and that came out pretty nice. There was like some blobs, I'm not sure if it's due to moisture issues, and maybe I should have dried it out. Uh, there's like, like small sits on the, on the print, but otherwise it came out pretty good. And my guess is because of moisture, because nylon is sensitive to that, so there are like small sits, and that could also factor in the, the strength for the brake test if it's, if it has moisture in it. It's not as tough as it should be, so that's probably my fault in handling the material. I normally don't dry out the samples from the maker box because I get so many. <laughs> but for nylon, I might have to start doing that just to give it a fair chance because I believe those are moisture issues. Uh, I did the, the Bensi as well and that came out pretty good. Uh, there was some stringing though. Um, that's uh, pretty common with nylon to have some stringing issues and I don't think this is too bad for nylons. <laughs> it's always somewhat stringy and, and moisture has also a play in that. Um, here on the on the top here I needed more time to let it cool down. Nylon is printing at pretty hot temperatures and, and needs a good amount of cooling for the small parts so for fine details like this uh, it needs to print a little bit slower with more cooling. So this is a slicer setting as well, no fault of the filament, <laughs> just my, my settings. Um, you can see the, the bottom is really shiny of the Gekotec <laughs> seat. It sticks pretty good to the Gekotec seat as I have on my Prusa MK3 build plate. And I, it's like a sticker I got for that build plate. But otherwise the Benzie came out great and the surface is pretty solid. Then printed out Mr. Belly and that was <laughs> had a lot of stringing as you can see. Uh, and also the sets. Um, here's the part cooling issue. <laughs> need to give it a little bit more time uh, to cool down but otherwise uh, it's pretty tough. It takes, takes quite some bending before it breaks but this could be better if I would have dried out the filament and here you can see in the, in the back it's in some sits and probably moisture related. And then I did the seal layers a lot and that came out pretty good. Here on the shield it's really smooth and here on the, on the back as well really smooth. And here on the front we have the stringing and I think if I would have dried the filament a bit uh, beforehand I would get better results. Uh, especially with the, with the sits. It's probably moisture bubbles in the filament that was, uh, was giving me trouble. Uh, that's not uh, 
not an issue with the filament itself, just material handling on my part. <laughs> but those are the prints I did. So that was my quick look at the Breathe 3D Phonex, Phonex Nylon Blue. It's a pretty cool color, like a deep blue color uh, nylon. And I think if I would have tried it out, <laughs> I would get better results. And uh, nylon is a material I'm not very used to, so I'm learning <laughs> to handle it. And I'll probably try it out before when I get the next nylon sample to try out and to give it a more fair chance. So some of the seats and some of the stringing is, is my fault. But otherwise it was quite easy to print with. I was printing on my Prusa MK3 printer with a Gecko Tick seat on the steel seat. And that's like a sticker I got quite some time ago. And that was working really well uh, as in regard of pet adhesion. But for now this will be it. I'm Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. Uh, if you like what I'm doing here on the channel, give this video likes or a comment or uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. But for now, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.